Ernie, if he hits a home run to tie this game, <laughs> this game will be certified as absolutely the nuttiest in the history of baseball. John Sterling has been the voice of Yankees radio broadcasts for a generation. Since taking over in 1989, He's called five World Series championships for the Yankees and lended his one in a billion vocals to countless great Yankees moments. The sun will come out. Tanaka fired a second one on the first double play. How do you like that? He's known for his colorful and custom home run calls for nearly every Yankees player. Giancarlo, no si puesto palo. Well, you know what they say, nobody beats the Riz. But perhaps his most dramatic home run call of all time came at 3.20 in the morning on July 5, 1985 in Atlanta on a home run by this pitcher, Rick Camp. On July 4, 1985, John Sterling's 47th birthday, the Atlanta Braves welcomed the New York Mets to Fulton County Stadium to open up a four-game holiday weekend series. It became one of the most wild games of all time. Both teams scored once in the first inning, and the Braves went up 3-1 in the third. The Mets scored four in the fourth, taking a 7-4 lead into the bottom of the eighth. With the clock striking midnight, the Braves rallied for four runs in the bottom of the eighth to hand an 8-7 lead to Bruce Souter, who would later enter the Hall of Fame. But Souter blew the save, sending the game into extra innings, tied at eight apiece. That was just the beginning. The game was 10-10 at the end of 13 innings and remained scoreless into the top of the 18th when pitcher Rick Camp allowed a run to make it 11-10. Now remember that this is a National League game and that means that the pitchers had to bat for themselves. In the bottom of the 18th, Rick Camp had to bat for himself with the game on the line. Rick Camp was a bad hitter. He went 3-for-13 that season at the plate for a 231 average, which was actually 157 points higher than his career average to that point of 060. Of course, Rick Camp did the improbable. He hammered his only career home run to tie the game at 11. The call from John Sterling was absolutely priceless. And he is at the deep left. He goes back. It is... Gone! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! Just said if he gets a home run, that certifies this game as the wackiest, wildest, most improbable game in history. I mean, if you told me that John Sterling's going to run for president and win, that wouldn't be any more improbable. And I've got to tell you, that's improbable. Special shout out to the Patreon supporters and anyone else who has supported this channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it the old thumbs up and subscribe for more Yankees content year round. If you really enjoyed it, check out The Freeze. It's the official podcast of this channel. Or pick up some swag from the Teespring store. Link in the description. Thanks for watching.